Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative and today I'm going to show you exactly how I embed my interact quiz on my website behind a button. If you're not sure what interact is or if you're looking for more general information about how you can embed your interact quiz onto your Squarespace site, then make sure to check out the full video I did on this topic, which I will link below. That video covers the basics of embedding your interact quiz onto your Squarespace site. This video is specifically about how I set up my quiz, which starts with a button and then goes directly into the quiz without leaving the page. This of course is done in Squarespace because we do everything in Squarespace, but because it's custom coded, you could probably do it in most website builders. So yes, it is custom coded and it's not the most simple piece of copy and paste code. So if you have no coding experience, I will do my best to explain, but if it's too much for you, I would probably just recommend using this similar style, but just adding a regular button instead and linking out to your quiz in a new window with the basic interact share link. It has a really similar effect and it's much easier. So like I said, you can check out that tutorial by viewing the previous video, which I've linked down below. But if you're up for the challenge, then let's dive in. Okay, so here's an example of the one I have on my site that you just saw. It is on its own page, but basically it's just a button, you click on it and it turns the button into the quiz. Another really nice example of Someone who does this well is Jenna Kutcher. As you can see, this one's actually on her homepage, which is a really good idea. It ties in really well with her branding. And then when you click on the button, it just instantly turns everything into the quiz and all of the text and the button disappear. It's just a really nice way to integrate the quiz without having people navigate away from whichever page you want to embed it on. Now, Jenna's is done in Show It, I believe, and there is a really simple way to do it in Show It without code. But if you are using Squarespace, we do have to code this in. So I'm gonna do everything from scratch here in this test site, and I'll do my best to explain everything, but it should be pretty simple. You don't really have to understand the code. You should mostly be able to just copy and paste it, and I will link it below this video so you can directly copy and paste and follow along. So there is three codes that we need. The first code is the actual code for embedding our interact quiz. And the second is the script and button that changes itself into the quiz. Then we have some CSS as well, but we will talk about that at the end because that's a little bit easier. So let's just put this aside for now and work on these two. The first one we wanna look at is the actual quiz code. So essentially you'll want to use this exact code. Again, please access the blog post for this video, which will have this in copy and paste format. And you'll want to put your quiz embed code here. If you're not sure where to find that, you'll find it in your dashboard. Click share and embed. And underneath embed code, you'll want to use the JavaScript code in Squarespace. And if you're not sure which settings you should be using, I highly recommend, again, checking out the last blog post I did all about embedding your quiz into Squarespace because I do go through all of these different settings that you need. So I already have mine all done and set up and copied. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use this code, remove the put your quiz script here and paste in the quiz embed script that I got here from Interact. You'll want to put it in the middle here and you'll see it's wrapped in a div ID, which is called quiz div. I recommend just leaving all of these IDs the same so that you don't have to go through and change anything unless you have IDs around your site that are the same. Just leave everything as is. So that code should be all ready to go. And then if we have a look at the button and the script code, you shouldn't need to change anything on this. Assuming you've left the div ID for this first code, exactly the same. If you have changed it, you will just need to change the ID here where it says quiz div. The only other thing you might want to change is the value for the button. As you can see, this says take the quiz. You could change that to something like take the quiz now or whatever you want. Just be really careful not to remove any other characters and only edit the text that's in bold. Okay, so with these two codes, I'm just gonna pull them over to the side so that I can access everything on one screen. And I'm gonna put my button and quiz down here. But here right now, I've just got a regular Squarespace button, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that because we're not gonna be using that. Then I'm gonna click the plus, 
wherever I want to add my button and quiz. So click plus and we're going to add a code block and the first code we can put in is the actual quiz embed code. Make sure you highlight everything including the ID that's on the top and the closing tag at the very bottom. Remove what's in the code block and paste the whole code in. Ideally, you should be seeing nothing because it is set to not have anything showing at the moment. Just click out and directly underneath that code block you just added, click the plus and add another code block. And this time we're going to add the button and script. Copy the whole code, paste your new code, and it should look something like this. Click out and you should have two code blocks on top of each other. Click save. And if we test that out now, I'm going to click this button and it should show the quiz perfectly, just like that. And then the button will disappear also. So that part was pretty simple. And mostly you can just copy and paste that from my website. The final part in this is updating our button. So as you probably saw before, the button doesn't look too good. I'm just going to refresh the page so it goes back to where the button is showing. So we want it to look a little bit better, a bit more on brand than this. This is where we can use some basic custom CSS. Again, this CSS code will be on the blog for you to copy and paste, but basically we just want to copy this in and then we can make changes as we see them on the website. If you're not sure how to use CSS or if you've never used it before, I would recommend looking up some quick basics so you have an idea of what you're doing. Otherwise, I'll just give you a simple set of settings to make the button look nice and you could just copy and paste those in maybe change the color maybe change the font and just leave the rest as is so copy this code come into design custom css and then paste in your css code you can play around with all these settings to customize your button however you like i'm not going to dive into all the, the details about how to update your css if you do need css Help, I would recommend consulting Google because there's so much CSS information about there and it's relatively simple, but you'll just want to update these settings to match your branding and your website. Click save once you're happy with your CSS and that is your button to interact quiz all done. Okay, that's it. I hope that was helpful and not too complicated. Remember, you can find the copy and paste codes along with the step-by-step -step instructions directly below this video, which should help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.